Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Germany. Also welcome to my inaugural street food safari video. Perhaps I should put some sort of copyright on that name. The idea is to hunt down the top five favorite fast foods here in Germany. I can guarantee one thing though, you will not see me eating sauerkraut, no chance. Fermented cabbage is straight from the kitchen of the devil. You will not see me eating sauerkraut. Anyway guys, I'm here in Germany for just under a week. I'm here in Dusseldorf in night one. Let's see what I can find. It didn't take me long to find the first of my big five, the Donner Kebab. Hello. Hi, can I have a Donner Tash? Donner Tash? Donner Tash. Chicken or beef? A beef. Yes. The Donner Kebab is actually a Turkish invention, but it's so part of the German street food scene, there are actually more Turkish Donner Kebab outlets in Berlin than in Istanbul. My Donner was a Donner Tache, flatbread, salad, tzatziki, which is a sauce from Southeast Europe and the Middle East, yogurt, cucumbers and garlic. The bretzel is what we call a pretzel, a type of baked bread made from dough that is commonly shaped into a twisted knot. The next item which I've been able to cross off my list of street foods is the humble bretzel. For you and me a pretzel. I don't usually eat these because they're rock hard, but I think if they're fresh it should be good. Let's find out. Mm. Freshly baked with a pretzel. Yeah, that's that is actually very nice. I think I've just become a fan of pretzels. Beautiful. Mm. It's thought to have been invented by European monks in the early Middle Ages and has been a traditional snack in Germany for centuries. I'm just looking in the window in a bakery back there. All the products were covered in wasps. All the, the sugar and the sticky stuff was attracting them and I thought, ooh, you really want to buy that when it's been trampled over by wasps? Here in Cologne, I'm trying to retrace my steps because I found a shop earlier on that sold one of my fast food safari items and it's the first time I've seen it anywhere. So, hopefully we can get back there. It is 20 past four, which means uh, it's either very late lunch or a very early dinner. Right, where was this place? Aha, I think I can see it straight ahead. Yep, here we go, this is it. Frigadellen is usually made with ground pork, with the occasional addition of veal. On offer was the Frikadel special. I was given a sausage with mayo and a crunchy topping. The sausage was pork and not a patty, so maybe that's why it was so special. I noticed the seller had this listed as a Dutch speciality, so who knows? 
That was definitely tasty, but the jury's still out as to whether it was a frikadellen or not. I'm used to frikadellens that you get in Aldi and Lidl and their own patties. That was a sausage, but it was a pork sausage. So I'm not sure whether it was a Dutch specialty as advertised on the board, or whether it was just his way of getting rid of surplus pork sausages. I'm not going to cross it off my list yet. There are over 40 types of bratwurst in Germany, but I won't be trying them all on this occasion. This was simply called bratwurst mit Pommes, which is exactly what I received. Well guys, we've got three out of the big five under our belts. Number four, I'm feeling confident we'll be able to bag tonight. Shh, I can see it just over there. Ah, my personal favorite street food in Germany. Uh, ketchup, please. But what is, no, what no, is no. it? What is it? Huh? Just Why you make camera? I'm not Why you it. make camera? One of the disadvantages of street food is the fact that you're in the street. At 8 o'clock at night, there's not much space. No way to sit, no way to stand. So I found a little bit of space here on platform 4 at Dusseldorf Hauptbahnhof. And it's number 4 on our list. And it's currywurst. It's said it was invented by a Berlin resident who acquired some curry powder and ketchup from British soldiers after World War II. There's even a museum to this food in Berlin. My favorite street food in Germany. Number four, currywurst. The guy at the shop caught me filming him and he was a bit stroppy about it, but it, I got away with it. Why, why you film me? Why you film me? I wasn't filming you. Honestly, the camera was still on, but I wasn't filming you. You were filming me. Oh. I was filming him. They have Christmas markets in Glasgow, and they always have curry bratwurst, but it's never the same. Never the same. That is good. <laughs> yep. Alsace art with Speck, Ram, Hunt, Seiblen. Alsatian style with baking cream and onions. It's traditionally made from pizza like bread rolled out into a thin rectangle or oval shape. Well guys, my fast food safari is over. I have managed to score the top five. I've been able to hunt them down. Now I've got a confession to make. I did some research before I left home and I looked at four different websites on fast food in Germany. They all agreed on the top four, which were, according to my bit of cardboard here, bratwurst, curry bratwurst, doner kebab and bretzel. But they couldn't agree on the fifth. And so I wrote them down just in case. Kartoffel puffer, schnitzel, frikadellen, which we nearly got the other day, and Flammkuchen, which I just got there, and it was delicious. It was also washed down by a beer, which 
helped as well, a beer which I can't remember the name of, but I've written that down. It's called Schoferhofer Hefeweisenhell. Funny how I couldn't remember that. Anyway guys, I think I enjoyed that really well. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, my next overseas trip will be in Poland. It will be in the month of September. So I might try the um, fast food safari there as well. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching this and I hope to see you next time.